guys, welcome back to my channel. So yesterday was the 93rd Academy Awards, the Oscars, and they were held at the Dolby Theater in Los Angeles. This is one of the first award shows to sort of have an actual red carpet again because everything's been virtual, which has been great seeing the photo shoots of everyone's looks, but I was super excited to see actual red carpet fashion. So they brought it last night and today we are going to be reviewing what everyone was wearing. So let's get right into it with the first look. First up, we have Amanda Seyfried. I think that's how you say her name. Amanda was nominated for her role in Mank, and she is wearing Armani Privé with Forever Mark Jewelry. This dress is stunning. It's very simple, very elegant. It's a plunging, uh, deep V neckline strapless. It's made completely out of tulle, and I don't usually like dresses that are completely made out of tulle, but I like how it's um, sort of going in a vertical direction as opposed to like layered horizontal cupcake type situations. Anyways, it all comes up really tight at the top with a little bit of fringe, not too much. And it's this beautiful classic red color and she's got the old Hollywood hair going on as well. This dress is just literally stunning. I love it so much. Next up. Andra Day, and she is wearing Vera Wang. Apparently, this dress is made completely out of metal. They worked with a welder to make it. I mean, I can't tell. And it's it's nice, she looks great, but I don't know, it kind of looks cheap in my opinion. It looks... It's sort of like a, a slinky gown with a one shoulder sort of two strap halter above to the one shoulder and then there's a cutout at the midriff. I just feel like the material looks like that cheap, stretchy that you find on like bathing suits. I don't know, it just doesn't, it's not doing much for me. I'm sorry, Andre Day. She was nominated for her role in the United States versus Billie Holiday. Which, by the way, I haven't seen any of the movies because the lockdown has been insane and I haven't watched any movies, but I saw the highlights and the commercials and she looks incredible in it. So, anyways, next up we have Angela Bassett and she's wearing Alberta Ferretti. I don't know. You know what this looks like? This looks like uh, water wings. <laughs> you know, when you're learning how to swim in a pool and you put those big balloon things on your arms. That's what this looks like to me. I'm sorry, I love you, Angela, but this is, this is really bad. I don't like this at all. Uh, it's red also, but for some reason, it's, it's almost like a pinky red. I don't know if that's just the photo. Mm, it's red. Anyways, uh, the back is like a huge bow, like you could just pull it and open her up like a present, but it's not, it's not a present that I want. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, the slit is strange. I, not, I don't really think the material is that nice. She's also got a Judith Lieber bag in the shape of lips, which I think is really cute. And it does match very nicely with her dress but overall, it's not a winning look for me. Okay, next up we have Carrie Mulligan. She's wearing Valentino Couture, and she was nominated for her part in Promising Young Woman. Guys, this dress is phenomenal. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I've been waiting to see on the red carpet. Are you kidding me? Harry Mulligan slays in this ballroom gown, which is a bandeau top and then a banded waist for the skirt that just billows out in this rich, supreme, gold sequin, 
ball gown skirt and the color is like it's like a copper gold it's so warm it's so rich i love it so much i'm so glad she wore her hair up she's also wearing cartier jewelry which looks amazing carrie mulligan is slaying 10 out of 10. i love this look to death and back next up we have daniel kaluuya and he is wearing bottega veneta this is absolutely atrocious this is boring this is ugly the pants i don't know what i i cannot deal with this trend of guys wearing these poopy slouchy wide leg pants i can't deal with it anymore i just i really don't like it the double breasted uh jacket which is just i don't think it fits that well especially around the hips area Everything is black, but it's not like black, black. I don't know. And then there's a turtleneck, and a mock turtleneck underneath and a chain. Very simple. But this is seriously one of the most boring things I've seen so far this year. One out of ten. One out of ten, Daniel. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But he was nominated for his role in Judas and the Black Messiah, and he won the Oscar. So congratulations to him, but step it up on the red carpet. Thank you. All right, next up is Emerald Fennel, and she's wearing Gucci. And she was nominated for Promising Young Woman, director and screenplay. She won the screenplay. I'm not sure if she won. No, she won the screenplay. Uh, yeah, she's wearing Gucci. This doesn't look Gucci to me. It's like a fairy in the forest, ruffled, flowy, floral nightgown is how I would describe it. She is pregnant. I think you can, like, pregnant women need to, like, be fierce on the runway. You know what I'm saying? On the runway. On the red carpet because I feel like you don't need to hide, you don't need to hide it. Just, like, let it show in all its glory, your baby bump. But I really don't like this. It looks like pajamas from the 18th century. It's, it's, I just don't, I, the colors are so, it's literally giving me like grand, grandmother's nightgown living in the country situation. And I really don't like it, I'm so sorry. Uh, two out of 10, so sorry. Next up, we have Glenn Close, and she is wearing Armani Privé. Guys, I don't know what it is with some of these older women. Maybe it's their style from the past, but why do they always feel the need to wear things that are so unflattering? I really don't like this. Why would you pair pants underneath this dress? The dress is ill-fitted and I know she can find a dress that is beautifully fitted to her body and accentuates everything. I just, I really hate this. I'm sorry. Um, the, let's zoom in here. The dress is a sort of shift dress with, um, with these jewels kind of cascading all around the top 50%. There is a plunging neckline, but it's covered by like a mesh, which doesn't match the skin. So it just looks wrong. And then there's sort of like a darker piping along the collar, which just makes it even look more wrong. So I really don't like this. You look beautiful, Glenn. Your hair is great, your makeup's great, but I really think you can wear more form-fitting, uh, beautiful garments. <sighs> Two out of ten. It's not very interesting to me. Next up, we have Halle Berry, and she was a presenter at the Oscars. And she is wearing... <laughs> Take a guess. Dolce & Gabbana. I seriously thought we were going to go one award show without Dolce & Gabbana, but here it is in my face to say... Hello, and I do not want to say hello. Please go away, Dolce & Gabbana, thank you. I mean, it's a pretty gown. 
strapless heart neckline uh, with a billowing out of material at the waist. There's a loose bow at the front, which kind of just looks really out of place. It kind of just looks like a bunch of um, fabric that doesn't know where to go or what to do. It's in a sort of rose purple color. She looks beautiful, but it's kind of boring and it's Dolce & Gabbana. It's not doing anything for me, really. So I'll pass. I'll give it a four out of 10. Okay, next up we have her. And she was nominated for her song in Judas and the Black Messiah. Her is wearing a Dundas jumpsuit with uh, a wrap and a hood. And it's all in the same uh, sort of ethereal blue color lace with a close up. I think there are like. Yes, there's beading all throughout the material. This is absolutely stunning, gorgeous, everything. I love this. I love the color. I love the jumpsuit. I love the wrap, the shawl, the cape with the hood. It's very dramatic, but very, very beautiful. I also love the hair coming out of the front and the sunglasses, perfect choice. Her was slaying it absolutely 100% on this red carpet, and I'm going to give her a 10 out of 10 as well, up there with Carrie Mulligan. Next up, we have John Batiste, and he was nominated for the original score, score for the animated movie Soul, and he won the Oscar for Best Original Score. And he is wearing Dior. This is a much better fitted suit than Daniel's. Um, it's still pretty boring. A lot of there, I can't really think of any, any men who took a risk at the Oscars this year, which is really disappointing. But this is still much better than Daniel's. Uh, it's a not quite a navy, it's like a steel blue suit, uh, single breasted, like with a white button up shirt and a blue bow tie. There's a red pom pom just sticking out of nowhere on the breast of the jacket. Not sure about that, but he does look sharp. He looks well put together. It's just very boring. It's not doing anything for me in particular. I'll give it a six out of 10. Next up, we have Lakeith Stanford and I love me some Lakeith. And he is wearing custom Saint Laurent and he's nominated for his part in Judas and the Black Messiah. This is interesting. It's very 70s, almost looks like one jumpsuit. It might be a jumpsuit with a big white <laughs> uh, shirt with big white lapels underneath. There's a belt. I love the 70s vibe. I will give him that. He, he put in effort to do something different for the red carpet. And I'm, I'm giving him props for that. It's still not my favorite look, um, but props for effort, props for being a little bit original in a sea of black and blue suits at the Oscars this year. <laughs> so seven out of 10 lucky. Next up we have Laura Dern and she's wearing Oscar de la Renta. Uh, Jimmy Choo shoes and pomeletto or pomeletto jewelry. I actually really like this dress. I feel like it's probably going to be divisive. I feel like people will probably hate it or they'll like it. It looks like black velvet on the top of mock turtleneck. I don't usually like velvet, but this actually with the stark contrast of the bottom, I think it goes really well. The bottom is sort of an asymmetrical cut skirt at the waist and the hip that billows out into this rich white feathered skirt. And I don't know, the contrast of the velvet with the feathered bottom, the feathered skirt is really doing something for me. I really, really, really like this. And in motion, this dress was really beautiful as well. Um, Love Laura Dern. She's an exceptional actress and person. Love everything about her. Her hair looks great. She looks beautiful. And this outfit is winning for me. I'm going to give it a 
a 10 out of 10 as well with her and Carrie Mulligan. Good job, Laura. I really like the Jimmy Choo shoes too. It really kind of accentuates the dress where it's black and then there's an asymmetrical peeping of like a white color with these crystals and I just think it's a really good choice. Okay, next up we have Laura Pacini and she is wearing Valentino Haute Couture. She was nominated for her song in The Life Ahead. This is really boring. I don't have much to say about this. It's an elegant uh, steel navy blue off the shoulder strapless gown with long sleeves that don't fit really very well. And it's just boring. There's nothing special about it. But hey, props for looking elegant at the Oscars. <coughs> um, I'll give it 5 out of 10. Next up, we have Leslie Odom Jr., and he is wearing Brioni, head to toe gold Brioni. Uh, he's nominated for his part in One Night in Miami. This is different. I will give it that. It's not a black suit. It's all gold for that matter, like seriously, same exact tone, color, tie, shirt, jacket, and pants. It almost looks like melted gold, so like if you were to melt gold and it would turn into liquid. Kind of like that. Um, kind of okay with the wrinkling happening at the arms and in the pants too. I think maybe that's just part of the material and adds to the effect. Uh, I like that the black shoes match with the small peep of black uh, collar at the top to kind of bookend the outfit. It's not my, I'm not going crazy over it, but I do think it's unique and I do think it looks good. So I'm going to give Leslie a 8 out of 10. Next up, we have Margot Robbie, always gorgeous. And Margot Robbie is wearing Chanel. Now, she looks stunning. Margot Robbie had my favorite hair and makeup of the night. It's uh, beautiful beachy waves with curtain bangs as well in a loose low ponytail and the, the makeup is effortless and natural and beautiful and I just think she looks absolutely stunning. The gown by Chanel is very pretty. It's not one of my favorites. Um, it's sort of spaghetti strap, heart neckline, uh, form-fitting dress. It fits her very well with a sort of silver shimmery floral uh, pattern throughout. It is very beautiful. It's very classic, but it's not one of my favorite looks from Margot. Margot has pulled off some fabulous, stunning, extraordinary looks and she wasn't nominated for anything so I get it maybe she was just trying to be uh, not to uh, one-up the people who were nominated for uh, their roles and their participation but she looks pretty it's a nice dress nothing crazy nothing too special uh, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Next up, we have Maria Bakalova, and she is wearing Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton with Messiah jewelry, and she was nominated for her role in Borat's subsequent movie film. <laughs> and she looks very beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, this looks like a wedding dress. It's got a deep V plunging neckline, which I love a plunging neckline. It's my favorite type of neckline for myself and on others. It's very classic. It fits her very well. Um, it's, it looks like it's a thicker, uh, puffier material on the top with a band <laughs> under the rib cage and then it flows out into sort of a tulle skirt. <clears throat> kind of boring, kind of black. Looks like a wedding dress. Not my thing. Makeup looks nice. She looks beautiful, but I, I, I would like to see more at the Oscars, 100%. I give this a 7 out of 10. Next up we have Reese Witherspoon and she's wearing Dior. I hate this. I absolutely hate this dress. Um, it looks messy. Uh, it's 
sort of like a halter neckline, twisted, and then it just looks off center and not in a cute asymmetrical way. It just looks like it's not on right. I don't like the color or the material and it just kind of falls down. There's a skinny leather belt, which doesn't match with the fabrics of the dress. And then there's this random deep purple pleat just plopped in there for some reason. I'm really not feeling it. I really don't like it. Again, she's just a presenter. She wasn't nominated, so maybe she was trying to be subdued, but you can be subdued and still give me a wow moment. I really don't like this. Sorry, Reese. Three out of 10. Okay, next up we have Regina King, and she is wearing custom Louis Vuitton. Now, apparently this dress took 140 hours to make. It has over 62,000 sequin little crystals in the piping. In, the, in a picture, I will get, give you that it looks a little cheesy. You might be like, whoa, what is that? In motion, this dress was very beautiful. The color of the dress, the blue changed depending on the lighting. It was very ethereal, very shimmery. Um, the, the sparkles in the piping, every time she moved, it would hit a different light and it was lit up like a Christmas tree. It was beautiful. Um, the wings remind me of a butterfly and they are kind of cheesy to me. It's not really my style, but she looked absolutely beautiful. It's a very beautiful dress. I can tell a lot of work went into it. It's just not my style or my thing. It's also a little uh, like stretching in one area because it's maybe not pulled to the, to the right spot on her body. So it's not fitting her like an absolute glove, but it is beautiful. And I will give this one a eight out of 10. All right, next up we have Riz Ahmed and he is wearing Prada. Listen, Riz Ahmed is just hot, okay? He's a hottie. I like him, I like him a lot, he's hot. But again, it's a black suit, black on black on black, I do like, um, but it's nothing crazy, nothing special. I do appreciate a well-fitted pant on a man at an award show because lately they've been wearing these poopy slouchy pants and I appreciate the cut of these pants. They fit him very well. I like how the jacket's open with a mock turtleneck neck underneath. There's a cummerbund across here, but um, there's no bow tie or anything like that. It's kind of like a mix of styles, which I like, but it's still just a black suit. Nothing special. Riz is hot. We're not taking that away from him. I, he's one of the best dressed at the Oscars this year, but it's still kind of boring, kind of blah. Seven out of 10 ribs, but I love you, don't hate me. Okay, next up we have Steven Yeun, and he is in head to toe Gucci. Boring, I don't even know what to say about it. It's a tuxedo, it's a, it's, it's a tuxedo. I love you, Steven. Walking Dead lives in my heart forever, but this is so boring. This is, and he's been boring all year, I think. I'm gonna be honest, but like, I, it, it's a tuxedo. What can I even tell you, say about it? It's, it's a tuxedo, so I don't know, three out of 10. Next, okay, next up we have Vanessa Kirby and she is wearing Gucci with Cartier jewels. Uh, this is very beautiful, um, also very boring. <clears throat> There's a lot of midriff at the Oscars this year and she's not straying from the pack there. It's a plunging neckline, strapless, cut out at the weight or at the midriff, a sort of long pencil skirt that also has a train. I'm not a fan of the material. It looks very stiff. It looks very uncomfortable. She does look stunning. The makeup and hair is beautiful, but the dress isn't doing anything for me. It's not horrible, but it's really boring and I don't like the material. So I'm going to give it a seven out of ten. It's, she still looks absolutely stunning. 
All right, next up we have Viola Davis. <laughs> Viola Davis, and she is wearing custom Alexander McQueen. I do not like this. And I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of people saying, Ace, you're crazy. This was the best one. This is beautiful. I really don't like it. Um, the appliques on the top, the, the sort of cut out um, Victorian bustier, it's puffy, it looks cheap, the cutouts, they look like they were cut with scissors. Um, I really don't like the puffy material uh, to be used um, with, in these shapes, it doesn't work for me. I really don't like the straps. Uh, the white looks stunning on her. I feel like maybe this would have been better if the bustier stopped right under the ribs and then maybe had a fuller skirt, but this just kind of looks sad. It doesn't look like it's uh, doing anything for her amazing body. It's kind of dragging everything down. Uh, the bottom is really boring to me. There's nothing happening. There's no moment happening there. It's just kind of flopped. It's just sitting on her, the skirt. And I really don't like it. I'm very sorry. She's also wearing Forever Mark jewelry. I don't know. This, this look is just very... It's not doing it for me. I'm very sorry, Viola. I'm going to have to give this a 4 out of 10. Next up, we have Yu Jong Yun. And she is wearing Marmar Halim, and she was nominated for her role in Minari, and she won for her role in Minari. She's wearing Bottega Veneta shoes, she's got a Vivier clutch, and she's wearing Chabard, Chabard jewelry. Uh, I think this is a great, a great look. Here's an example of uh, someone who is of a more mature age, wearing a beautiful gown. I love this. I love the material. I love the whole t-shirt dress vibe at the top. I love the pockets. I just think she looks really great and I'm really liking this. And her speech was also freaking adorable. It was the cutest thing I've ever heard in my life. Thank you so much for your speech. It was <laughs> Next up we have Zendaya and Zendaya went against the grain from everybody else, she's wearing bright yellow here at the Oscars. And I'm telling you, this is a stunning moment. I love this. Hello to the midriff again. Everybody's doing the midriff, but I love this. And I absolutely love how she did her hair with the dress. It's very beachy, casual. I love the light crinkle waves. It looks so good. She looks so stunning. I can't even deal. So yeah, this yellow dress is sort of like a bandeau. It almost looks like it's two-piece, but the cut-off midriff is connected at the side by the ribs. And then it just goes into this glowy yellow skirt that sort of gathers at the front, but you can't really tell. It all kind of just runs together and then creates beautiful movement throughout the bottom of the skirt. I actually, I'm loving this yellow moment because I feel like it was daring, it was brave to wear yellow to the Oscars. Everyone always wears the rich colors, black, white, red, rose, gold, things like that. So props to you Zendaya for your yellow moment. I'm here for it. The jewelry she chose with this dress is absolutely perfect. I love the choker with the slightly uh, lower dropped pendant. And it's got yellow in the center of the pendant to match with the dress. I just think it looks really sick with this dress. I'm all here for it. Her stylist is uh, La Roche, I think, and killing it. Love it. Thank you so much for this moment, Zendaya. 10 out of 10. Up with the greats. All right, that is it for all the looks. Uh, honestly, overall, the Oscars this year were kind of disappointing. There were some really great standout looks, but the majority of them were pretty boring and didn't do much for me. And Oscars are like my favorite, apart from the Met Gala, for when it comes to gowns and fashion, the one I look forward to the most. So I was a little disappointed. Best dressed, there were a few 
that were up there, her, Carrie Mulligan, uh, Amanda Seyfried, um, Laura Dern, Zendaya, they're all up there, but my absolute favorite, 100% has to go to Carrie Mulligan. I loved this copper gold sequin moment on the red carpet. It was so rich and so beautiful, and she looked absolutely stunning. Uh, worst dressed. Honestly, it could go to any of the guys who are just wearing a boring ass black suit. You know what? It is gonna go to one of the guys because I remember being super disappointed and it's gonna go to Steven Yun for that Gucci tuxedo that is literally just a tuxedo. There's nothing interesting about it to me. And I'm frankly bored with his red carpet looks. Come on, Steven, I know you've got it in you to step it up, but yeah. I'm going to give worse dressed to him. Anyways, that's all for today. I don't know when the next show is, but whenever there's a red carpet moment, I will be here to talk about it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Let me know what your favorite looks were in the comments. Let me know who you thought is the worst dressed. Let me know if you disagree with everything I said, because I'm sure there are lots of people out there who do. But anyways, until I see you next time, I'll see you when I see you. Okay, bye!